Today, we're making the most mythical dish of all time, hash brown casserole. You don't know what it is, but I tell you that you're gonna love it. If you have a taste, it's gonna blow your mind and you're not gonna make any other dishes ever in the history of your life. You're gonna make this every single day. Let's do it. To get started, we need a lot of bacon. This is two pounds of bacon. I'm not using all of this, but this is what I, I don't know. I just got it out. I wanted to slap it on the table. Let's make some. How, how much are we gonna use? The original recipe said a pound. I like to use a little less. So we're gonna get our bacon in here. This is thicker cut bacon. You can use whatever you have. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Uh, lay it out in a single layer. With the thicker bacon, I like to start it up like on low and like let it come to heat like slowly because it pulls more fat out. It renders out a lot of fat and it makes it, I don't know, chewy. I think I like chewy bacon. I don't like crispy, super crispy bacon because we're gonna bake this and we're just gonna cook these. Usually I'd cook it low and slow, but I'm trying to get this bacon done because I'm going to eat. This is going to take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of the stuff I need for this. And I need an onion, and this is a medium size. I need, I'm going to do like another small one, so like one large onion. I'm gonna chop this up somewhat. You know, maybe not immense, but like chop somewhat fine. It's up to you. You can have it. This is gonna go in the sauce that goes over the hash browns. If you want big chunks of onion in it, go ahead and leave it if you want. Mmm. Definitely smell like some pork product of some kind. <laughs> you know, bacon, bacon, pig, oink, oink, police officer. <laughs> I used to do the same thing when I was your age. I'm gonna throw garlic in here too, I think. I don't think garlic's in this recipe normally. It's a holiday recipe that we make during the holidays. It's a family thing. I change it up when I make it. But I, I like garlic in like literally everything. I could put garlic in ice cream and I'd probably You're use it. You're doing audible right now. I always, I like to change it up because I mean, we only make it once a year. I might as well, like usually once or twice a year, you know? I might as well change it up. Try something different, maybe I'll like it more. All right, I had the heat up a little high. You can see I'm getting a little black. I don't, that's all right though. It's fine. Tell me what you did, you just flipped it, man. I've just been flipping it. See all that grease that I got to come out there? We're saving that, that's why I got this bowl back here. Oh uh, yeah. These ends aren't that done, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it over. This is something I like to do. Flip it over where none of the actual bacon really touches and just the sides. And I just push it down. Go ahead and take it out. They're not 100% cooked all the way through. You can see, that's fine. The edges are, it's fine. I'm gonna. Let it cool off and tear it up and put it on the, as a topping that we bake this thing in the oven for like three, 30 minutes or something. It's perfectly fine. All right, this grease, I'm saving that. So I'm gonna put this in this bowl, hopefully not burn myself. I need to, you're, you should strain out those little pieces of stuff there, but I'll try not to get any in there. If you're gonna save it, you don't want those. It's just like charred pieces of meat. And put that back on the heat. We're gonna throw some butter in here. Some butter. So what are we making right now? What is this part? This is the topping. It's the sauce part of the casserole. Okay, so the bacon goes on top of this. The bacon, you just cook it first because it takes a long time. Okay. It takes the longest and you need it to cool off before you can touch it. I'm going to eat some of it actually. I got, a, I got a quality control here, so see if it's good. Okay, it passes. That's good. That's mostly melted. I'm going to go ahead and throw my onions in now. Bacon, onions, butter. Like, what's better than that? I could eat those the rest of my life. Wouldn't be very long, probably. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good, man. You just gotta control it. Control how much you eat. Oh, gotta get our little. little well, we got a new thing, yeah. Spider Man. It's the coolest thing. So, get back in there. The only thing about this dish is that you're making bacon, you're sauteing a lot of stuff, you might have some, you gotta clean off your stove maybe a little bit afterwards. Uh -huh. But you could also bake the oven, bake it in the oven. I've never really done that, but I've done it and I don't really like it, but some people like cooking bacon like that. Since so you gotta cook a decent amount. Since this is really thick, that's like that's like a pound of bacon actually, but it's really thick. If you have thin bacon, you have like almost 12 or 16 tiny slices. So it's hard to cook all that in a pan. 
Okay. So it's easier, you might have to do batches or just crowd it in there and try to get it done or multiple pans or you can bake it. I like the thicker stuff. Less, less work. You just gotta cook it a little longer because it's thicker. I'm just gonna cook these until they're kind of translucent. And then I'll throw my garlic in. Actually, I'm gonna throw my garlic in right now. You're gonna leave the garlic out. Normally this recipe doesn't have those. Garlic goes in everything that I make almost, so. Now, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Yeah, you can leave this out. I think it'll be good in here. Stir it up a little bit. All right, that's smelling pretty good. It's cooked pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some pepper. Oh yeah, listen to that. Some salt. And let's go ahead and do the next part. Pretty sure it's this first. I don't think it really matters which the next two ingredients you put in there, which in what order, but I'm putting cream of celery in right now. Go ahead and dump that in there. Just need one can. You can actually make your own from scratch. It's like, it's... You can use a scoop. Nope. It was about to come out. I didn't get any anywhere. That was, that was an onion. Doesn't look that great, but let's go ahead and mix it in. It tastes amazing. Then once it's incorporated, we add our last ingredient to this. And the last ingredient for this, sour cream. This is 16 ounces. I don't know if we need all of this, but I'm gonna dump it all anyways. I think we need all of it. That's a different container than normal. No, it's not. Normally they're flat, right? No. Huh. Sour cream? The one I get is. No, no. Sour cream isn't. Sour cream always always comes in this kind of container. I guess if I'm not going to reuse it, I'll just put this in here. This is going to be so good. No, I just kind of mix this in. They won't really want to go at first, but just keep working at it. It'll it'll mix in. Looks pretty mixed. We're just going to heat it to where it starts like bubbling a little bit, simmering, because the sour cream is really cold. So, take a minute to heat up. Just let it let it do its thing. Let it heat through. Now we're gonna assemble this thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna spray it. Normally you use butter around the inside of it. And try to cut back on the calories in this a little bit. You could do. You, you coat the inside in butter normally. I didn't. Know that. You saw it with softened butter. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna spray the inside pretty well. You might say this is probably more oil you'd have in there if you put butter. Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to stick. Right. <laughs> All right, this is bubbling pretty well, so we can turn this off. I'm gonna put some spices in this. I'm gonna put a little cayenne because I like cayenne in everything I make and eat. That might be too much cayenne. That might be a little spicy. Probably not though. It's sour cream. Um, onion and garlic powder. We already got onion in it and garlic, but you know these taste different than straight onion, straight garlic, raw, you know, cook. It's a different flavor. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Intensify that garlic flavor. And onion flavor. Salt. And lots of this. I don't wanna put rosemary in because I have dried rosemary and it's like the, the long yeah, kind. Yeah. Like I have to break it up really fine and it's a mess. I could, you could have done the spices when it was still on the heat, but it's reducing more than I want it to because it's still on the heat. But it can go to boil and then you move it off. Yeah, right? okay. yeah. We just wanted to bring, we just didn't want it to be cold, like because this sour cream stuff is really cold. Okay. Do we need to preheat the oven? Yeah, and it, ours still only takes a minute. Oh. 350 is normally what, what do we do it at? I think. I don't remember. I'm gonna do 350. You could do 400. I want the potatoes to cook through, but the top might get burned if you cook it higher than that. So the potatoes are frozen. Okay. You don't have to thaw your potatoes out. That's what I'm gonna show you. Okay. I was gonna taste this first and see if it tastes pretty good. I don't think I have to. I think I already know. Mm-hmm. 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 Man, that's good. Oh man. We're using diced hash browns. I like the diced ones. You could use the shredded hash browns too, I guess, but I think these work better. We're gonna dump in. This is almost two pounds. This may be too much. Let's see. I'm just gonna dump it all over. 
Think that's too much? Probably. Uh, you never know. You never end up. It's going to look like it's good. It's going to go right to the top, so it'll be good. Pour this over the top. Go ahead and spread it out. It's like you're icing a delicious cake. Uh, yeah, savory cake. We're going to crumble up our bacon on the top now. Okay. Or rip it. This is not really crumbly because it's really thick. Let's kind of get this laid out all over. Spread out pretty well. You don't have to tear it up or crumble it up. Super fine if you don't want. Okay. Okay. Now he needs some uh, wavy potato chips. This, this is the good part. You're gonna love this dressing. It's pretty talented. I'm gonna push it in so it'll stick somewhat. Yeah. You could do this all in a bag too, I guess. I just want to get salt all over my hands. <laughs> I want my hands. I need my hands to be lotion. I didn't have any, so I got these chips. That's the. That's awful. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's the sound of dinner, honey. Well, in like three minutes. <laughs> okay. Try to get a decent coating all over. So normally this is. A, I think we said this earlier, but normally this is a dish that we eat with other things. But today. I'm just going to eat this. Yeah, the titties feel like this is a bean. It's pretty freaking filling, so... This is a perfect food. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, there were no fresh vegetables in this except for an onion. All right, that's pretty good. And just kind of push it down if you have space. We're kind of running out. I'm going to have to put a pan under this so it doesn't bubble out and burn in the oven. And now, everybody's favorite, cheese. Cheddar cheese is usually what we use. Today I got a sharp cheddar. You can use mild pepper. You can throw pepper jack on it. You can throw whatever you want on here. Just cheese. Melty cheese. Cheddar works really well though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nowhere near enough cheese. Just want a good layer of cheese all the way around. I kind of wanted it to the edges. Maybe it'll stick. Get a little burned cheese on the side like our pizza. All right, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Normally, actually, you put butter on this, like I was saying. I don't know why. This is already super unhealthy. We don't need that butter, so. Slide it on the middle rack. I don't even know. There we go, all right. We're gonna right bake on. it. Oh, I need to slide some underneath it, too. Oh, yeah. We're gonna bake it for, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes. We'll put 25. It'll, it'll, be, boy, it'll be bubbling and the cheese will start browning. And then, Whoa. What is going on? This is if you overfill your pan, your pan's pretty close to the top, this bubbles so it could come out. Put like another pan underneath it. So in about 30 minutes, I don't want to get this any browner because the more you brown it, it's okay, but like you can kind of, uh, it kind of makes the cheese layer a little tough. You just want to see the bubbles around the outside happening. That means the inside's really hot and boiling. Because those hash browns were frozen on the bottom. And if you see that, then it's cooked. Catch you in the tasting lab. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve some up. Actually, what are we doing? What is, what is we doing, baby? We only have, I only have one kind of drink because I'm with this. You want that? One kind, one drink, or one drink only. It's like my favorite, my favorite like soft drink. Other yeah. Than Coke sometimes. But, all, all right. right. I'm gonna go ahead and serve some. All right. Up. I'll talk a little bit about this dish while he does it. So like this is something that oh, yeah. I don't know. This can't like I know some of our it. cousins. I know who gave it to mom. My okay. Say. It was our cousin, right? One of our cousins. It was uh, on well, our mom's side. Her cousin gave uh, her his wife gave it to us, and uh, we never had it before that. That was probably with like I don't know. We were probably like I was like ten or twelve, maybe I don't remember. But and now I'm like seventy five, so it was a long time ago. But anyhow, this dish yeah, has since then well. like I guess our dad is obsessed with it because we every time we have you know massive family dinners, this always is the dish that everybody wants. I think I messed it up a little bit. See, so uh, kind of separated. It's fine. You can just break it up with your knife. But oh, is that because you should have put the? I think I put the layers together wrong. I don't. I always do it wrong. But it still tastes the same. It's just it's, it's separated. So, so the chip should be on top. Maybe the cheese might need to be on the bottom as like a foundation to to, to like grab yeah. everything on top. So put cheese first, and then I th or bacon. Bacon can be on the bottom, but then cheese and then chips. Okay. I think it'll it won't separate as much because this can't stick to the bacon very well because it's like cold. we never wrote this down. It just I make it different every time. Yeah, and then he also does a variation where he makes. Sorry, right, I think you're starving. All right, tell me about it. Oh my god, is it good? Because you added things to it this time. It's so good. Onion and garlic and 
sour cream, celery, cream of celery. These hash browns are all cooked through and they're not crunchy, they're just soft. They're good, man. It's just good. This this Cheese, dish, like potatoes, we said, like, bacon. you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this dish, I promise. It sounds weird, it's weird, it's like it honestly this recipe is freaking weird. Cause it's like let's take a bag of chips and crunch it up and throw it in the casserole. But I'm telling you that this because you like all these things separate, I know you do. So when you put it together and you bake it, I mean, casseroles are amazing. Casseroles are like the, one of the most amazing meals of all time. It's honestly kind of like a loaded baked potato with a mm. few extra things in it. Mm -hmm. But it's like it only takes like 45 minutes with cooking all the bacon and baking. That's all it takes. Yeah. And then you're done. And this is also uh, a recipe you can probably improvise. I don't. We've never made it with tater tots, but I'm assuming that this would be really good with tater tots. That's the type of dish and. Like, I think in the Michigan or Wisconsin, somewhere really? up there, they make tater tot dish, is what they call it. Oh, I, or hot dish. I made that once. Yeah. Yeah. I think tater tots would work in this great. There probably is a version of this with tater tots already. Yeah. See, I'm just eating the potatoes without the cheese layer. Like, they're freaking just good on their own. That cheese is like icing on the top. Just need a little bit because it's like, oh, I'm getting some This good. is a savory cake right here. Savory yeah. cakes. <laughs> You can't eat this like I can only make this every so often. <laughs> you eat this every day. It's really filling. Yeah. All well, right. So then you chose cooking. this. Why do you choose this today? Why don't we do this today? I don't know. Is that like a crank, like a Hankin? craving, yeah, hankering, a, a, a crankering, a crankering, a, hank a hankering, hank and a craving hankering. for this? Like I just woke up. I was like, I want that. That sounds yeah. really good. I'll have that. I think I'll have that. Do what's your difficulty on this? Easy. Easy. Your rating's easy on this one. Yeah, I mean the hardest part was cooking the bacon, which honestly isn't that hard. If you cook bacon before, just cook it till it gets somewhat brown. Try not to burn it. it. Flip, flip it, right? it, like and don't burn yourself. Like that's, that's all. That's all it is. All right. And the rest of it, you just mix it. And you cook in the same pan, draining off the grease from the bacon. I you, I recommend you do that. Put mm -hmm. butter instead as your grease fat. That might be hard. I don't know. You might spill it. Try not to spill it. So overall, it's pretty it's easy, right? It's really easy. All right, and then servings wise, I mean, I mean, I, I took a he's big, a big boy. He's gonna eat a big one. I took a, I haven't eaten but like one thing today, so I took a big portion. I might eat a little bit more when we're done filling this, so. but I'm gonna like restrain myself because this is actually really filling. Yeah, and this is more of a side dish, but I'm gonna eat it as a meal. So, but you think I would say that like you could probably get like six, at least six, six servings out of this, six to eight servings, depending on how big of a. Uh, uh, serving size eater you are. <laughs> we got about six more in there, maybe. Five. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you got a few left. So then, uh, rating, I mean, that's okay, I have rating up here, but that's for like difficulty, but in terms of how epic this dish is, this is like, it's like one of my favorite the things. most epic dish of all time. Like I said, it I don't know what I called it before, but. It may not be that pretty looking to you. Oh. It may sound, it may People not gonna, sound. If you, if, like, you great, like cheese, so, you so like good. potatoes, and you like bacon, and cream, and butter, Sour like, cream. well, I don't know what else went in there, but, like, this is your dish. This is your new, this is your new favorite dish of all time, I'm it's telling you. It's the hotness. It's new hotness. So, yeah, so you're going to love this dish. And, uh, so rating's like 5,000 out of 10. Substitutions or changing anything? Substitutions, uh... You could use different hash browns, I guess. Or you could actually cut up potatoes, like raw ones. But if you do that, oh. you need to parboil them first. Or bake them before you pour all the toppings on. Oh. Because frozen ones are already cooked, normally, or they're partially cooked. Really? So they're not, they'll cook through. But if you put raw ones in there, I've done it before. I was thinking they would cook before the top got done. They didn't. So uh. if you do that, you got to par-bake them or par-boil them or something. Could you put them in the same? Could you put them in this thing? Yeah. Put it in the oven and then bake it and take them out and put all those stuff on and put it back yeah. in. Yeah, that's what oh. I'm saying. Like par bake them in this, and then when they feel like they're cooked through, like poke them with a knife or fork. That'd be a cool. Then way to pour do it, yeah. all the toppings and start making the rest of it yep. on top, and then put it back in. You could do it that way too. That would okay. work. That'd you work. could change your cheese. If you like different cheese, you could actually make this vegan, which we're gonna do a vegan video of. I came up with a vegan version of it. It's the it's, most amazing recipe it's actually, of all time. It's actually, I like them both e equally. Like, this one's very that's, bad that's for a, you. That's a, that's a high praise right no, there I really, for a I vegan really, version of a recipe. It's, it's all from scratch, though. This yeah. one isn't really, it's from scratch, but it's from, like, cans, which is great. I love this. Catch, scratch, fever. But that one is, like, from scratch. Like, I think if you're vegetarian or vegan and you want a, a new side dish, that one, you will love that one. So when you make that, and people will love it. If they're like, oh, I don't want to go over 
to Chris's Three house. Story. We're doing vegan Thanksgiving, vegan uh, Friendsgiving. Uh, uh, no, no, people come and eat Thanksgiving with us because our freaking Thanksgiving is fantastic and it's vegan. But we also I mean, sometimes we have meat. I, I make this for myself. But but, uh, but <laughs> it's, you, yeah, you got a little bit. <laughs> you got a little what, bit. <laughs> oh, would you make this again? Yeah, we make oh, it like de- three times a year. <laughs> We make it like three times a year at least. Mm-hmm. This thing, it do we want to make it too frequently? Like, because he, like he said, it's like I don't know it's what pretty, the calorie count is, but it's pretty high. No, I guess like it added up in the recipe. <laughs> all right, so I think this is good. This is like this is like the greatest dish of all time. Like I said, I'm stopping myself from getting more right now. So I think I'll get sick. Uh, you'll make this first, and then when you're done making this and you love it, go check out our other videos. We got pizza. We've got text mix. We've got. I'm pointing at the camera like, like I'm a call Kogan <laughs> over here. Listen here, brother. We got a vegan burrito, epic ultimate vegan burritos. We got nachos. Vegan, we've vegan got pizza. Pizza. We got meat pizza. Vegan oh, pizza. Oh yeah, nachos. Forgot about nachos. Yeah. We got Japanese food. We got. Mm-hmm. We did Chinese we did food. Pho. Yeah. Take we got it. Vietnamese food. We got all kinds of stuff. Go check out our other videos, and I'll guarantee you're gonna like them. You're gonna make. You make them. People are gonna love you. And that's what you want. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> go, go make our videos. You're gonna love them. I promise. We're I'm done. rubbing your glue. Right, I won't stick on you. Done. I'm done. Turn around. We're gonna wrap. I say good day, sir. We're I out. say good day. <laughs>